Hi, I'm Joachim for Statistics Globe and in this video I'll explain how to draw categorical variables with percentages in a bar plot. In this video I'm going to show you two examples and both of these examples are based on the example data that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see that at the top right of RStudio a new data frame object appears which is called data. And we can have a look at this data frame by clicking on the data object and then you can see that a new window appears which is showing the structure of our data. And as you can see our data frame contains only one column and this column is consisting of alphabetical letters ranging from A to E. So if we want to draw these categories in a bar plot with percentages, we first need to convert our data frame to a table that is showing the percentage points of our categories. And we can do that as you can see in line seven of the code. So in this line of code, I'm using the T function, the prop table function and the table function to convert our data frame to a table with percentages. So if you run this line of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data object appears, which is called data purse. And we can also have a look at this data table by executing the name of the data table. And then you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that we have created a table that is showing the percentage points of each category in our data. So if we want to draw this table in a bar plot using the basic installation of the R programming language. Then we can use the bar plot function as you can see in line 9 of the code. And within the bar plot function we need to specify the name of the table that we have just created. And we also need to specify the ylab to be equal to percent. So if you run line 9 of the code you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a new bar plot is created. And as you can see the y axis of this bar plot is shown in percentage points. So as you have seen in this first example, it is possible to use the basic installation of the R programming language to create a bar plot that shows categories with percentages. However, I want to show you a second example in which I'm using the ggplot2 package because the ggplot2 package is a very powerful package when it comes to the creation of graphics in R. So if we want to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, we first need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines 11 and 12 of the code. I have installed the package already, so I'm just going to load it with line 12. And then if we want to draw percentages, we also need to install and load the scales package, as you can see in lines 14 and 15. I have installed this package as well, so I'm just going to load it with line 15 of the code. And now we are able to use the functions of the scales package as well. So if we want to draw our data in a bar plot with percentages using the ggplot2 package, we can use the code that you can see in lines 17 and 19. So in these lines of code, I'm specifying the ggplot function, and then I'm also specifying that I want to draw a bar plot. And within the geom bar function, I'm specifying the aesthetics of our bar plot to be the count of our categories divided by the sum of our categories. And then I'm also specifying that I want to show the y-axis in percentage points. So if you run lines 17 to 19 of the code, you can see that a new bar plot is created. And as you can see on the y-axis, our percentage points of the categories are shown. So in this plot, you can see by which percentage each of our categories appears in our data. So in this video, I have explained how to create a bar plot showing categories of a data frame with percentages. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. And I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can check it out there. And furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel in order to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.